is it bad that I want a truck? And I like trucks this bad? And I'm sitting in the parking lot of AutoZone right now. Waiting for the guy to come out and start his truck up because I can tell that it's deleted. <laughs> He had a muffler or something on it. It wasn't even straight pipe. Eh. Hey everybody, welcome to the video. You know, I haven't washed my car in like weeks. It's dirty. It's got bugs and stuff all smashed over it. You know, my white isn't white anymore. It's like off white. We're testing today if wash and wax products actually work. Half these things are like, oh, wash and wax, brilliant shine, brilliant, brilliant this, brilliant that. Usually I just use the normal the normal car wash soap and it does just fine. But I want to see if there's any difference with, you know, wash and wax products. I was just walking down the, the car wash aisle and I was like, there's so many wash and wax products. I'm like, you know, usually people who wax their car get the, you know, the tub, the buffer, everything. They spend, you know, eight, nine hours out there buffing and waxing their car. I'm like, do wash and wax products actually work? Who knows? You can see it in my glasses right now. This big jug of yellow, uh, neon yellow wash and wax. I'm gonna show you in a second here, but this is what I got. You know, I got a microfiber mitt that was on sale. It was right next to it, so I was like, whatever. Um, but I got this microfiber mitt, and I got Meguiar's wash and wax. Even on, even on the back of this, Meguiar's wax, it says, oh, traditional wash and wax products are typically low on, or weak on suds, shine, and protection, but not anymore. So I said, if there's a product comparing themselves to every other product on their product, I want to test it out and see what it's all about. I'm going to show you the car here and see how, show you how dirty it is, and then we'll get to washing. My battery's going to die here. I don't know if you can see. I'll get my head out. But you can see all this dirt. I can hardly see the screen. It's so bright outside, but all this dirt, it's like thick layers. this kind of dirt the whole roof you can see the whole roof is just covered in dirt you can see where I put my finger that's really bad for the paint I know but look dirt just coming off the trunk look at all the handprints for me closing it so like crusty stuff all over the windows everything like I said my white isn't white anymore and it needs a wash so I was like instead of using the normal you know rain X you know wash usually people who are out there waxing their cars take you know five six seven eight hours really perfecting you know, the wax to get that high gloss. But, you know, do these products actually work? And can you get that get that high gloss look in a quarter of the time? That's what today's all about. I had a hose nozzle crack last time when I was washing the car. So it just sprays out the side consistently, which kind of sucks. But, I'll just have to do for now because I need to get a new hose thing. So I'm gonna fill this up and let me get my mitt. We're gonna use this and see what I said, it leaks. But, whatever. Let's get washing. We can really test out this wash and wax. And you'll see on the GoPro, the, uh, that, so I don't have to film with this hand the entire time. But wow, is that sudsy. That's real sudsy. I'm gonna stick my mitt in halfway and I'm gonna wet down the car.
you can see before there's some dust that has landed on it, but uh, if I do say so myself, just look at that bug crawling around on there. Let's get out of there. That one just died too. If I do say so myself, here's an even more drier spot. That is glossy. Wow. That is a glossy shine. Here, I'll come down to the dry spot of the car. There's still, you see, there's still some like road uh, tar and whatnot on the, on the paint here, but look at how glossy that is. The sun's beating on it. I mean, there are still some wet spots. So it's really helping with the gloss, but look at that. You know, just sitting here, you know, cleaning up, putting the hose in the bucket away, looking at this, I am actually blown away at how glossy that is. I can't believe it. Even after it's dried, even after it's completely dried, that's incredibly glossy. That's incredible. So the question is, do wash and waxes work? Yes, I did one, uh, one hard deep scrub of a coat, and then after that I just did a quick coat over all the uh, paint. One more time after that, man, that is so glossy. I'm gonna show you guys it again. Like that is extremely glossy and it's actually dry now. So it's all, you know, get out of here. These little bugs, but it's actually all, all dry. And it's extremely, extremely glossy. Wow. Like I said, I'm extremely impressed with this. Um, it did better than the, uh, you know, just the normal wash or the normal, like the Rain-X wash. So this is what I use again. I use the Meguiar's Ultimate Wash and Wax. And you know, I, um, at the store there was also Armor All Wash and Wax and Turtle Wax Wash and Wax. And all these other things um, for washing wax and I you know I was looking at them all and I was like what stands out there's so many brands I said what stands out and on the back of this Meguiar's here like I said before it says traditional wash and wax products are typically weak on sunshine shines and protection but not anymore so it's like when a product's calling other like other products out I was like you know, there's gotta be something to it. So I went to try it out. And also, the extreme yellow color of it just really caught me. So I went with the Meguiar's and I'm actually blown away. That is very glossy. And if you're, like your answer to the question is, do wash and waxes work? That is an affirmative, yes they do. That is probably one of the best washes I've seen um, in a while. Usually used I said we just bought this too. Um, just this Rain-X spot free wash, no drying needed. Um, that's what we usually used. I said we just bought it. But you know, I just saw this at the store when I was buying the, um, the wash and wax.
washer fluid and I was like, you know what? Do this actually work? It's like, there's a buddy that I have that said literally spent eight hours the other day waxing his truck. And I was like, eight hours what, waxing your truck? I mean like, yeah, it's a big vehicle, but I mean like, you know, buffing, using the buffer and all that, like, that's a lot of work. Seeing how that worked so well just for washing it, that's incredible. I uh, highly recommend that. So if you guys enjoyed the video and you thought any of this was informative, get down there, give me a like, and comment. What do you usually do to uh, wash your car? Because, you know, that blew me away. Uh, so let me know what you guys do to wash your car. And um, in the comments below, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And also, if you haven't been here before, please click subscribe. I'm going to see you in the next video.